Hey, Kimtastic Bunnies. Welcome to another read-along. I am Mrs. Kimberly K. And on today's story, we're going to read The Dirt Girl. You know what Mrs. Kimberly K. needs you to do. I need you to sit down, pay attention, open up those bunny eyes real wide, lift those bunny ears way up in the air so you can hear everything Mrs. Kimberly K. is saying. Okay, come on, bunnies. Let's get started. The Dirt Girl. Once there was a little girl named Safira. She had dark green eyes and pale skin. She was beautiful, but her hands, her hair, and her face often had dirt on them. One day, it was time for Safira to go to school. She was excited. I can't wait to play with other boys and girls, she thought. But when Safira arrived, the other children stared. Many laughed and teased. Why do you have twigs in your hair? One boy taunted. Did you make that dress? Asked another. Safira did not understand. She felt sad. Safira had pretty flowers, leaves, and twigs tied in her long strawberry red hair. I don't feel different than everyone else, she thought. Safira often went to school with ladybugs and butterflies in her handmade wicker basket and wooden pencil case. Other children had pictures of these things on their artificial backpacks and pencil cases. Safira played along at the playground. The teasing went on for weeks. Safira thought this must be how children play, so she just smiled. Finally, it was Safira's birthday. She invited all the children to her house. This is for you, she said, beaming. Safira handed out invitations that were like none the children had ever seen. The invitations were made from real flower, tea leaves, and yellow petals. The words were written in a strange red color that smelled sweet. The most popular girl whispered to another, Are you going to go? Yes, are you? asked the other girl. We have to find out why she played with caterpillars and bugs. Safira seemed too strange and different than the others, but she was always smiling and happy. All the children replied yes. On the day of the party, Safira was ecstatic. Welcome, she said, as the children finally began to arrive. The singer started again, but this time no jokes were made. All the children's eyes were wide with amazement. Safira's house was a spectacular boy built into the side of a mountain. The walls breathed fresh air and grew with grasses and vines. Butterflies and hummingbirds flew in and out as all nature were her family. The sunlight shone in through a beautiful kaleidoscope of color from above. Strawberries, blueberries, and grapes were plentiful. A sparkling spring screened down the wall into a catch basin that cut across the floor. Here is where I sleep, Safira said merrily. Her bed hung from huge roots above like a helmet and would rock her to sleep as the earth turned. All the children were silent. Safira gleamed with joy as she explained, My house is alive and the energy of the earth provides for us. Its vibrations keeps us healthy and happy. She showed the children everything, including a wild baby deer. When it was time for cake, Safira brought out warm, glowing souffles. Each child picked their own strawberries. This is the best party ever, the most popular girl proclaimed. Yes, I have never tasted anything so good, said another. The next day back at school, many children arrived with sticks in their hair and dirt on their faces. The teacher looked at each other confused. The girls gathered around Safira. Safira, will you play with us? The most popular girl asked. We want to be like you. From that day on, Safira never played alone at the playground. She was always surrounded by other children. She taught them things about the earth that she knew. Many people are afraid of what is different than them, Safira thought, but hold true to who you are and others will eventually see your light. Being different is what makes each of us special. The end, bunnies. So, Kimtastic bunnies, tell me, what did you think about this story? I thought it was a wonderful story. I really loved her pretty red hair. I thought it was so pretty. I really loved her pretty dress. And I loved her home. That is such a fantastic, amazing home. Isn't it, Kimtastic bunnies? Okay, bunnies, you already know. I will have this story linked in the description. You can ask a parent or legal guardian to purchase this story for you. It will be linked. Now you already know what I need you to do. Go ahead, bunnies. Come on, Kim Tax the bunnies. Get on up your feet. What time is it? Come on, y'all. What time is it? It's time to do what? It's time to do the bunny hop. The bunny hop. The bunny hop. The bunny hop. Who can do the bunny hop? The bunny hop. The bunny hop. You can do the bunny hop. See you at the next read along. 
Kim-tastic bunnies.